What is network topology? Network topology is how computers and devices are connected in a network. Network topology refers to the arrangement and connection of computers and devices within a network. Network topology is the way devices are connected in a network. Network topology is the physical and logical way in which nodes in a network are interconnected. Network topology impacts network performance, security, and scalability, making it a crucial concept in network design and management. Network topology is the physical and logical way in which nodes in a network are interconnected. Both physical and logical topologies play crucial roles in the design of network infrastructure. The physical topology describes the actual arrangement of devices, whereas the logical topology emphasizes the flow of data within the network. Choosing the right network topology is essential for maintaining security, network reliability, and scalability. What are the components of network topologies? Network topologies consist of two primary components, nodes and links. Node. A node is any device connected to a network. Node can be a computer, phone, printer, or router. A node can be any device that sends or receives data. Links. Links are the medium of transmission used to transfer data between devices in a network. Links can be wired or wireless. What is physical topology and logical topology? Physical topology. Physical topology shows how the devices, like computers, routers, etc., are connected with cables or wirelessly. Physical topology is how devices are actually connected. Physical topology is concerned with the actual physical arrangement of network components. Physical topology is about the actual physical setup of the network. Logical topology. Logical topology describes how data moves logically within the network. Logical topology is about the flow of data across the network. Logical topology focuses on how data travels between those devices. What are the different types of network topologies? Different types of topologies are Point-to-point -to -point topology, bus topology, ring topology, star topology, tree topology, mesh topology, hybrid topology. Point-to-point -to -point topology. Point-to-point -point topology is the simplest type of network topology. In point-to-point -point topology, two devices are directly connected to each other. Point-to-point -point topology involves two nodes connected by a single link. Advantages of point-to-point -point topology Point-to-point -to -point topology is easy to set up because only two devices are connected. Point-to-point -to -point topology requires less cabling and hardware, making it cheaper than other topologies. Since only two devices are connected in point-to-point -to -point topology, the data transfer can be faster and more reliable without interference from other devices. In point-to-point -to -point topology, if something goes wrong, it's simple to find and fix the problem. Disadvantages of point-to-point -point topology Point-to-point -point topology only works for connecting two devices, so it's not suitable for larger networks. In point-to-point -point topology, if one of the devices or the connection fails, the entire communication link is broken. 
2. Bus Topology In bus topology, all devices share a single main cable. In this topology, all devices are connected by one coaxial cable. In bus topology, all devices share a single central cable. In bus topology, one long cable acts as a single communication channel, and all the devices are connected to this cable. Bus topology is also used in cable television networks. Advantages of bus topology Bus topology is easy to set up. Bus topology is simple to install. Bus topology is a cost-effective solution as the cable usage is limited, making it affordable to implement. Bus topology is suitable for small networks with fewer devices as it does not require complex setups. Disadvantages of bus topology If the main backbone cable fails, the entire network will be disrupted and stop functioning. In bus topology, if the common cable fails, the whole system will crash down. Adding new devices to the network would slow down the network. 3. Ring topology In ring topology, device connections create a circular path. Ring topology is a type of network configuration where each computer is connected to each other in the shape of a closed loop or ring. In ring topology, each device is connected to two others, making a circle for data to travel around. In this topology, each device is strongly connected with others. Advantages of ring topology the data transmission speed of ring topology is very high. The network works smoothly because data moves only in one direction. There are no data collisions, making the network more efficient. Disadvantages of ring topology The failure of a single node in the network can cause the entire network to fail. If one computer or cable fails, the whole network stops. Adding or removing computers can be difficult in ring topology. It is a very difficult task to add a new computer or device. In ring topology, all devices are connected in a loop. In ring topology, if there is a single break in the cable, all data flow would be disrupted. 4. Star Topology In a star topology, all computers are connected to a central hub or switch. In star topology, every node is connected to a central node known as a switch or hub. In star topology, all nodes connect to a central hub or switch. In star topology, all the devices are connected to a single hub through a cable. This hub is the central node, and all other nodes are connected to the central node. Advantages of star topology Star topology is easy to manage. Since all devices are connected to a central hub, it's easy to monitor and troubleshoot. It is easy to add new devices without disrupting the network. In star topology, if one device fails, the rest of the network continues to work. Disadvantages of star topology In a star topology, if the central hub or switch fails, the entire network stops working. In a star topology, the network depends on the central hub. If it gets overloaded, the network slows down. In a star topology, as you add more devices, the central hub may struggle to handle the increased load. 5. Tree topology. Tree topology is a type of network where each node or device is connected to each other in a hierarchy. In tree topology, 
nodes are connected in a hierarchical structure. Tree topology is a combination of bus and star topology. In tree topology, each node is connected to each other in a hierarchy. Advantages of tree topology In tree topology, we can easily add more devices to the network. The hierarchical structure allows for easier management and monitoring of the network. Tree topology is very flexible, allowing different network sizes and configurations. Disadvantages of tree topology In tree topology, setting up and maintaining the network can be costly, especially when adding more devices. As network expands, tree topology can become both costly and complex. Tree topology can become harder to manage, especially when adding more devices. Yeah. 6. Mesh Topology In mesh topology, all nodes are interconnected. Mesh topology is a type of network where each device is directly connected to every other device in the network. Advantages of Mesh Topology In mesh topology, if one connection fails, data can still find another way to travel. In mesh topology, it is easy to add more devices without affecting the network's performance. In mesh topology, all devices are interconnected, so data can travel quickly between any two devices. Since there are many different paths for data to travel, it's harder for hackers to interrupt or steal the information. This makes mesh topology more secure than other types of networks. In mesh topology, there is no central device like a hub or switch that everything depends on. This means if one device or connection fails, the rest of the network can still work. Disadvantages of mesh topology Mesh topology is expensive to set up due to many cables and equipments. Mesh topology is difficult to maintain with many connections. Mesh topology is hard to expand as each new device needs to connect to every other device. Mesh topology requires a lot of wiring and ports. This can result in a bulky, space-consuming setup. In mesh topology, troubleshooting is difficult because of the large number of connections. 7. Hybrid topology. The combination of various different topologies is called hybrid topology. In hybrid topology, two or more topologies are combined together to form a network. A hybrid topology is a combination of two or more different types of networks. Advantages of hybrid topology Hybrid topology can be particularly suitable for large organizations due to its scalability and flexibility. Since hybrid topology combines different types of topologies, if something goes wrong in one part of the network, it typically will not affect the rest of the network. Disadvantages of hybrid topology A hybrid topology can be more complex to design and manage due to the different types of topologies involved. Hybrid topology can be more expensive to set up and maintain depending on the mix of topologies used. If you find this video useful, if you find this video informative, hit the like button. Your likes are very precious. Your likes are very valuable. Like this video.